Hi, Nancy. Good morning, Senator. How you doing? I'm good. Well, a couple questions. We're in uh, Lima, Peru. We're at the COP20, obviously, and uh, the largest municipality uh, in the country is LADWP. We just passed Proposition 1, and uh, the question is, is how are we doing with regards to drought conditions, and how will Prop 1 help uh, Los Angeles? Well, as you know, Senator, we're in a really severe drought, some of the worst water conditions we've seen in, in our lifetime. Uh, and Prop, Prop 1 and 2 uh, will help uh, amplify the actions that Angelinos are taking right now to conserve water um, and to rely more on local supplies of water. For example, money in Prop 1 and 2 uh, and Prop 1 can go to clean up of the San Fernando Valley groundwater basin, which is a very important resource currently for Los Angeles and will help us better manage our water supplies going into the future. Now, LADWP um, is energy, um, a part of it, a percentage is generated by uh, coal burning plants uh, in Utah in the southwestern uh, corners of Utah, with Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, as well as Utah. How are we progressing with regards to LADWP weaning ourselves off dirty, uh, burning uh, coal into the renewable space? So we have uh, made a commitment to uh, reduce our the percentage of uh, power that we get from coal to zero by the middle of the next decade. So as we're doing that, we're increasing the amount of electricity that we get from renewable resources, from, from the sun, from wind, from geothermal, uh, and also uh, using less polluting fossil resources like natural gas as a bridge as we move to that lower and lower amount of coal and eventually getting to zero. So uh, we are also investing very heavily in energy efficiency, uh, so to help reduce our demand and help people save money on their energy. So in short, we are advancing at the LED. Absolutely, and we will be out of coal completely uh, in just a few years. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is uh, Kevin DeLeon along with uh, Nancy Sutley, who's the Chief Sustainability Officer for LADWP, also the former chair of uh, the Council on Environmental Quality to the White House, to the President of the United States, uh, signing off from COPE20 in Lima, Peru.